Hello, people. Oh. That was my worst intro yet. Yeah, yes. but yes. then again, you know. <clears throat> so. Nickelodeon. That wasn't the point, but you know. Sorry, it sounded like the little. See, that's going to be my intro if I ever go and do my own thing, like fully my own thing. Jesus. Aren't you going to get sued by Nintendo for that? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> okay, let, let me repeat this for Nickelodeon. Well, part no, of that's... Isn't that also Mario Kart? Spot? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember this shit. Fam, I know more than Vorn does about something. It's a me! Kudis Pratt! <laughs> <laughs> it's a me! Nick Knack! Actually, that sounds pretty good for you, Nick Knack. Actually, Nick has Knack. The Actually, has the trailer come out for that no, movie over no, the no. Fucking no. We do not talk about that. Chris Pratt, Mario. Disgusting. Here we go. <laughs> Disgusting. Three thoughts on ReZero, everybody. Alright, so I'll kind of get to, into what I wanted to talk about a little bit. Yeah, you had something you wanted to say. Yes. You had several things. Yeah, well, yeah. so, but the main kind of encompassing point of this is, so, what we see in the anime here is specifically um, Subaru's successful journey through this world, where he demonstrates all of the aspects of how to control uh, the seven deadly sins, because there's several other side stories as it were where he doesn't take the right path that he does and it since becomes a chaotic psychopath basically i mean subaru yeah i don't want to talk too much on those because a lot of those their setup is very much to so tied to future arcs yeah. um I'll, but I'll... subaru is built to be a very 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 flawed main character yes oh, yeah. and that's kind of the point i'm specifically only going to talk about the first arc that we watched here and that's the pride arc where basically, if he if Subaru didn't make the decisions that he made, he would eventually become like the leader of this cult that he's hinted at that is hinted at at by Rem in the later series. And he well, that's would, if he actively that, did leave. That, that's if he actively did leave and kind of just did whatever. But we actually see in that arc at least that if he did actually make the decision, Emilia would have actually still survived up to that point somehow. Yeah, I, again, I don't want to get too far into because that yeah. is a little bit of a deeper cut as far as ReZero goes than I think we really get in this series. Yeah, yeah. but that I, I do that is something interesting to bring up as far as Subaru as far because he's flawed in every arc and every arc is basically about calling him out on that. Yeah. In this arc in particular, they only ever resolve the issue because Subaru um, is willing to swallow his own pride is the implication there. Yeah. yeah. So that that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing with it. And it's kind of the... You can see the counter balance, essentially, with his character if you take a look at those. And if, it, if anyone is curious who's watching this video, those are called the ReZero If arcs. And they're yeah. available to read for free. So, yeah, they're also in, let's see, Light Novel, Volume... I, God dang, I don't remember. Yeah. So, it, yeah. It's in one of the Light Novel Volumes. It's actually like a chapter or a whole entire book. So, yeah. And there is one of those that I very much appreciate, but cannot spoil because we did not get to it in this in this yeah. arc. We'll get to it in the next arc. Right? Yes. Yes, I know which one you're talking about. Yes. Um... Let's see, is there any dead pause that Seki needs to cut? <laughs> dead pause that Seki will not cut. Dead Fuck you. <laughs> dead pause where I play my game. Oh god. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, uh you were actually talking about uh Supru and like his like stubbornness of following the path that he's actually taking. That was yeah. something interesting. Yeah, yeah I bit. mean look. I obviously his personality is different than mine. That that's just how it is. Like everyone has a unique personality and yeah, like I would not make this decision. Like point blank. It, look, if I died trying to help some girl I didn't know, I wouldn't Look, I get reset. She doesn't know me. I have no obligation to help her now. You know? I 
I don't know her. You know, if I was literally just in his space, but like as me, like I'm not attracted to her. I don't think she's beautiful. Like I am not thinking with uh, 50% dick, 50% brain. Um, so I don't, I wouldn't feel any obligation to keep going back and helping her, to be honest. Because also, because, like, you're in a giant city. There is more crime than just what's going on in this, like, little interlude that you've participated in. Like, if I made it my business to stop, like, every single fucking crime that I saw in this city, I, it wouldn't work out, right? Like, yeah. sure, See, but he... if you can catch a crime in progress, you could probably be safer by not stopping it. But if you have the ability to stop it, or you yeah, think you I can... Yeah, but I would just go tell a town guard. And then if they didn't listen, that's not my problem anymore. Like, it is not my job to get involved in someone else's, like, murdery shit when I can't do anything, right? I am, yeah. a, I am a level one reborn newbie in this context. Like, I can't do much against the bowel eater, right? Yeah. So, it, you know, in my mind, that's not... As far as I'm willing to go to help would be to, like, tell tell the town guard or something. I'd argue shit. there's a moral, ethical argument there to yeah. be made, but I don't necessarily know if that's something we want to get into on the podcast. And I don't... know. Because I don't... Because it's not... Because... On one hand, I see what you're saying. On the other hand, I don't think that's the logical thing he should have done. In fact, I think he did what he should have done as far, morally. Yeah, in terms of ideals, like, he actually kind of lies with me if, like... Oh, you you did something for me, like AK saving my life. I'll help you out. Like, yeah. That's that's kind of my mindset on that. But like, for him, he might just be actually doing the dick in the head as well, right there. Oh, there is a dick aspect to that, but also, for, on a moral level, I think he did the he he did do the right thing there. Yeah. Now, could he have been smarter about it? Yes, but Subaru oh, yes. is not a smart boy. I don't I mean, know. How much could any of us actually done if we were put in that situation, really? Like, I mean, he struggled till he found a way, and that's yeah. kind of, in my opinion, it's a positive aspect of his character. Because yeah. it's not that kind of show where... It, it, it isn't. It's not the kind of show where uh, we have fun with the... We have fun with our vices. No, it's a, it's a show where you overcome your vices. Yeah. Cause that, that's yeah, whole... but I, I am also just, like, considering, like, if, if I was literally in this position... And I'd argue that'd be a very selfish decision to make. Yeah, but what value is my life if I waste it immediately? I can help more people in the long run if I train and, like, get good fam. But once he realizes he's looping, especially once he realizes he's looping, that's some... If he, if he keeps coming back, he might as well try to help there. Yeah. Yeah, see, once again, I don't... No. Again, I think that's a very selfless decision, but this isn't real life, so it's not... Mm. Trauma. Trauma response. If I got my bowels sliced open, I would not be willing to go back. Mm. Fuck that shit. Th that's... I died once, that's enough for me. Okay. Like, that's actual about a point, so yeah. Yeah. I, I mean... I mean, this, yeah, this is, it's all subjective. I don't know if we, yeah. if we want to continue this discussion further. Yeah, not all of us have philosophical discussions about our own morals with ourselves when we're making decisions. Some of us just go, I got slashed in the stomach and I don't want that to happen again. Although I so I'm not going to do that. I do want to know, how many of you guys would actually, like, as soon as you figure that out, try to actually try this thing as, like, a game? Honestly, I don't want to die. Honestly, it probably wouldn't, because it doesn't make the experience any less painful. Each yeah. time. Also, he's he has PTSD. Like, he is waking up with these horrendous memories in his head. No one else is experiencing what he's experiencing, but he is actively dying again and again, and he remembers it, and he remembers yep. the feeling. And that's an extremely traumatic experience. And he can't even tell anyone. Yeah, because, because people will just be like, you're fucking insane, go to a loony bin. Well, not even that, but also there's, like, other magic fuckery going on. Which is on. supposed to be a bit of yeah. a symbolism kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, but I mean, I, no, I, I would, like, go off and try to, like like become strong enough to survive and then live my own life like i am not sticking around to keep getting eviscerated you know that's that's a that's a self-preservation thing like i yeah. Yeah. i am not a self-sacrificing person like i'm not gonna run in in front of someone i don't know and get my get myself eviscerated like i might do that for one of you three but i wouldn't do that for like someone i didn't know 
and he doesn't really know Amelia. No, in fact, doesn't. actually, Amelia out actively lied to in him. the first playthrough. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. honestly, nah, See, fam. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, like I said, this is a difference of moral and ethical opinion between the two of us, but I am not the kind of person to run in and be eviscerated for someone else that I don't know. Like, I have, I put a value on my life that is higher than someone that I do not know, who is also stronger than me. Because I would never say I for sure would do well, that, because I don't know what that kind of trauma going through, but I would say I should do that. Well, but also, I mean, look at his, what, like, second or third playthrough when Amelia gets there way earlier and goes to threaten Felt. Like, if he hadn't been there, Amelia probably would have gotten the insign insignia back from Felt way faster. Because they had this whole three-way argument. Sure, he succeeded that time around, but this whole three-way argument between, wait, you're not working with him? Wait, you're not working with her? Took up extra time. This whole matter might have been solved between Amelia and Felt. We don't know that, and if you do, do not tell me. I don't want to know. But, like, he, him interfering is not the only way to solve a situation. Like, he's got a massive fucking savior complex at that point. I think the reason oh, yeah. he actually, that Amelia actually got there earlier was because of his encounter with Reinhardt and he told her to, to relay a message yeah. to her. Yeah. So. Still, but, but then he told Reinhardt, so she would have gotten there earlier. He didn't need to also go there. If he told Reinhardt, she was already getting there earlier. He yeah. didn't actually need yeah. to be there again. Yeah, yeah. No, that's his own like, I, I just, stupidness. I just want to make But then Felt and uh, Old Man Rom, who he had gotten to know by that point, would have died. He doesn't know that. There's yeah, he a does. chance that he Reinhardt walked in would have earlier saved when they gave her the insignia yep. and they died. If he, they didn't have the insignia, they would have died. Like, there's almost no way around that. Well, still. Yeah. <laughs> look, I don't. I'm going to be honest. I'm not getting myself eviscerated for someone i don't know because my thought is at that point in his perspective it's not a game of D and D. these are people's lives that are lost that are on you it is no one's responsibility in this world to protect every single other person no. in an active and direct yeah. way no no you, but if you know something's happening yeah but you, once again if i you can, you, you, it's the uh, so i understand knickknack's argument here it's if you have the knowledge to act you you I, I, you and you feel morally obligated to you can but you wouldn't also shouldn't necessarily need to is basically what i'm getting from this take yeah, yeah. just because you have the knowledge doesn't mean that you need to you can feel morally obligated but also super needs to acknowledge that he's not strong Already he's he's not it. like Amelia who can who has like a spirit summon and can shoot off a bunch of like ice fucking shit all the time. Like there there's a line between throwing yourself into the middle of something because you can help and throwing yourself into the middle of something because you feel morally obligated but you don't actually have the skills to back yourself up. But he's the only I mean, one that knows the full perspective. And yeah, but if happened. Amelia hadn't been there in the playthrough where he survived, he would have just died again. Yeah. And had to start over again yeah and he would have had to keep doing it until he succeeded yes it, no that's that's the morality aspect of this if he <laughs> like it, i won't deny that there is a morality aspect to this show i mean given that each of these routes like they're called pride envy mm -hmm. all that etc there it's just a matter of how does subaru get to that essentially yeah. end point and... wait let's see well questions you actually had you actually have one more besides that no i, I didn't have any other questions it was basically oh. just me because i just wanted to explain the the different routes and everything like that and the if scenarios i didn't even know there were routes it is yeah. there are it, they're all like they're, they're all alternate by the offer. Endings. they're just alternate yeah. endings and everything like that where basically subaru didn't go through where he did something different and yeah is there one where he chooses like just not to get involved? No, I don't know for not for this arc, but for other arcs, there like the part where he walks away. There's a, an ending where he just leaves and decides to let them sort out the the, the mob beast issue on their own. Yeah, yeah. And typically, it goes into why that would be like where that takes his character from there on a moral stance. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't the world still end, or like at least partially? Ends? Sometimes they end. It ends sometimes. Honestly, I feel like this show would... Uh, look, so I didn't know about the routes, right? So for me, that that's not something I was considering. Like, the whole pride, envy, sins. Like, that's not really explained. 
no, in, in six episodes. Well, so it's not uh, a huge part of the show yet. So. Yeah, so so for me, I mean, it almost feels like he's being forced onto a specific route. Well, he's forcing um, himself to make the decision he thinks is more. I know, mm-hmm. but it, it it almost it almost rings of like weird like like self fulfilling prophecies and fate at times. If you don't know that something else is going on around it. Well, the first time he did anything, he was doing what he thought was going to be the most fun, the most game, the most yeah. isekai. And then it got him brutally murdered. Yeah. I don't know. It with Without any sort of context, it just seems... Uh, the, the first six episodes are a little rough without any sort of context around them. Because, honestly, he, it just keeps resetting him. He resets so many times in the first six episodes. Yeah. 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 Like, Jesus. I mean, because he's going into world. a situation he doesn't know anything about. Yeah. He's yeah. going to get killed. Yeah. He gets killed so many times in the manor alone. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, like. Honestly, I'm surprised Beatrice didn't kill him when she checked to make sure he wasn't uh, yeah. evil. Well, Beatrice didn't care nearly enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, suck that. Like, if you got stuck into this world. You're going to die a couple of times at the start because you just don't know how. This to is not a world works. you want. to Probably, learn. Yeah, yeah. No, th- this is. This is, is like... not a wish fulfillment series. Oh, no, yeah. no, th- this is not Kuma 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 Bear. This is Goblin Slayer. Like, like even in Konosuba, I think most of us would die. Well, Konosuba is still a very yeah. wish fulfillment series. Like you still kind of like that would be fun because nothing's really that. Yeah, That's and serious. I mean, like, obviously, if you're like Subaru, right, like, that would be like me going into an isekai. Obviously, I've read so many isekais, and like, yeah, my first thought would be like, find a job or find a guild if I want to be an adventurer, but also, I mean, we've seen me play D&D. If I go to become an adventurer, I'm going to pick up a broadsword, no shield, and I am absolutely going to try to tank. And you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. like, I'm yeah. absolutely going to have to learn that lesson the hard way. Like, you're gonna you know, have to it'll feel happen mortal. eventually. You're going to have to but yeah, Subaru, yeah. Subaru obviously could have fucked off. It's not that kind of series. Yeah. yeah. It's not a fun slice of life series. Yeah. I, I suppose that's, you know, the author's not writing this to be kind of appealing to everyone, but it's very pointed. Yeah. yeah. It's a very theme-driven series. Yeah, yeah. I feel I'm I'm treating this like his like I could change the anime by like by saying I want to watch a, a I want to watch an arc where he goes the other way, <laughs> almost like a visual novel but an anime. And that's not the case. I don't get to say make that other choice. Let me watch this other version. But yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to be an asshole to you by saying you're doing the wrong thing if you were to go the other way on that. But the way you were framing some of the uh, talking about Subaru was as if Subaru absolutely should have gone the other way and he did the wrong thing by not. I don't think yeah. he should have gone the other way. I just don't think that I would have done what he did, like, point blank, period. But, like, your statement think... was that it took you out of the show because Subaru wasn't you. Yeah, Which no. Which I think is a problem, Rings. I don't want my main characters to always be a self-insert for myself. Yeah, but it's so very... But I, I think in this case, it's so very rare that you see a show where it's so easy to put yourself in it like this. Like, I couldn't do this, like, in Konosuba, right? Um, but in, in this case, I mean, you do kind of see yourself as... I mean, like, I feel... I, w- I would have a very similar reaction. I'd be like, well, I'm in an isekai! Most shows are supposed to be relatable you know? in that matter. In yeah, way. but not this much. Like, like this feels like one of us, like, getting dropped into an isekai where you could just get reborn. I have to admit, Subaru's a character, especially as time goes on and you see more of his character flaws, I relate to a little bit uncomfortably. Yeah. Um, I would actually say, oh, fuck, I'm in isekai, rather than, oh, yay, I'm isekai. I mean, I, I suppose, like, that's the thing, is that... But the decisions aren't being made by someone who's just, as far as making decisions, being a complete dunce about it. Yeah, yeah, and obviously he's not necessarily metagaming all the time. And I have no. to admit that, like, if I did get dumped in Isekai, I would kind of metagame it, knowing what I know about Isekais. I'd be like, okay, well, I need to either find a nice civilian safe job, or I need to, like, get good, fam. He did yeah. try to metagame yeah. it at first, though. Yeah. And that's what got him killed brutally. Yeah. So, I mean, I, like I said, it, we've mentioned it in other series is right but like obviously i don't i'm not subaru and subaru is not me and like i've never actually been in this situation so as much as i want to imagine it you know i don't actually know what would happen i'm just kind of making suppositions in my own head because mm-hmm. because um, i mean ultimately like if you don't take the path that subaru can you can't really see the consequences of your actions yeah 
Yeah. Or and inactions. Would, and would you sit there for like the rest of your time in this fantasy world going, I wonder what what would have happened if I'd done this other thing? No, I'd move on with my shitty life. Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes... Yeah, but I mean... It's d- the Spider-Man effect thing. Depending on the kind of person, you know, maybe you choose not to help her the second time through after you die and you just keep thinking about it. Yeah. You know? And it yeah. haunts you, you know? I, that's a possibility. It's a possibility. I mean, he very much has PTSD after a certain point. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe they're kind of, you're the kind of person who's just, like, thinking, well, what if? He's very well, much the if? kind of character that what will if? look back at this and be like, fuck, what if I did something different? Well, and his PTA exa- his PTSD exacerbates that. Like, yeah. it, uh, PTSD fucks with your head, and it fucks with his head in this show. Like, the, he is not making the same rational decision that he would if he hadn't died brutally multiple times. And Amelia is a royal candidate, so if he had ditched that, we do know it probably would have been the talk of the town that one of them was assassinated. Yeah. 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 So. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could have ended differently. I mean, in the yeah. in the if yeah. pride scenario, she still survives up to the point where he kill or where she kills him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all supposition, you know? None of this is 100% real. Like, we know this situation. We've been in it. We know the emotions. We don't. Yeah. Again, I I was only being so confrontational with you about that because you were like, it took me out of the show that he made a decision. Well, it does. Like, it was an illogical decision altogether. It does, but that's because when you read something like this and you imagine yourself in the place, you do metagame. Like, you just do. Like, sometimes when I'm watching, like, my own isekais, I metagame in my head. I'm like, oh, well, I would have made this decision instead, you know? You know, here, I'll, I'll add in. I'll add into this conversation a little bit more. So, Nick Nick, you're a fan of Kotor too. You know, yes. You know, you know one of Kreia's lessons that she that she saw specifically yeah. the one about um, charity and being aware of things. Well, and yeah. both And both each have their own sides to the same coin. And everything she like scolds that. you for both. She scolds you for both. But the point is, is sometimes you can't always foresee the consequences of your either good or evil intentions. Well, yeah. Again, I don't. Like, I, I, I get that, and I do understand that, but it's... This is why I opted out of the morality and ethics class when I took a philosophy. You shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> That's what this shit is. I was not getting into that. Well, the thing about ethics is, it's a saying in the philosophy field that the more you know, the less you know. There's a reason I took classical philosophy. I mean, I did as well. I know, so all I had to do was debate who was right between Plato and Aristotle. It's not a criticism of the show. I don't have any issue with the show based on this. I just think Subaru is a dumbass. I mean, yeah. We all do. I, I have no actual Well, Subaru calls himself a dumbass. Yeah. He knows yeah. he's a dumbass. He literally says, when Ram calls him out, I am stupid. But she's stupider. Yeah, yeah. no. If I, if this was an actual criticism I had with the show itself, I would have mentioned it last segment. Th- this is just that I think Super is a dumbass. In my opinion, it doesn't. You did change. mention it last segment. I mentioned that I didn't like that he kept resetting and shit like that, and I mentioned that I didn't like how pervy he was. But I really don't care that he chose to like continue helping um, like, Amelia. It, 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 yeah. Like, like, I could give less of two shits. I figure, you know, at least for the first, like, five, six minutes, he was probably thinking with his dick. And I don't have that experience. I don't think with my vag. <laughs> my vag does not have a mind of its own. Yeah. I, Otherwise, I probably would be like, Lord Roswell! <laughs> 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 We all heard that. I actually, I actually didn't, honestly. But oh, I'll show it to you. Yeah, I will show it to you. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, Nick Nick, I understand where you're coming from, and you know, it is a, it is a morally driven show in its own way, and we can all agree that if we were put in Subaru's position, we'd all make different choices. We'd yeah. all make different choices. Yeah. And Subaru made his choices, and this is what ultimately is the outcome of his choices. Yeah. And we were still all fucked up. Yes, exactly. We'd all still be suffering from PTSD by the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Here we. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because, I mean, if you get brutally murdered, you're going to have issues. You just are, if you remember And right. some people will react differently. Some people will react how Subaru did. Others will say, no, fuck that shit. Some people will go, mm, blood. Yes. <laughs> like Bow Leader. Yeah. I don't know if I'd do that, and I, if you do that, get help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fam, I don't think I'd go, mm, blood. <laughs> but, uh... I so, uh, I, any recommendations based off this show? Uh, ah. Overlord, uh, if you like the dark undertones of shows 86, uh, Isekais would be Konosuba. I would yeah. recommend, because fun fact, Konosuba's author and ReZero's author are friends and they do exchange notes with each other as they write. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, right? I personally think that pretty much every isekai is just a good gateway into other isekais. Like, if you liked ReZero, you're probably going to like a lot of other isekais. And if you like other isekais, you're going to find something of interest in ReZero. Because isekai itself is such an interesting trope to be watching, and there's such variety with which it's played out. And Mm -hmm. I mean, even, even not strictly isekai, but just like... Um, reborns, right? You get to the end of your life and then you're reborn like three years earlier and you're like, oh, I can make different choices so I don't die, you know? You don't even have to be isekai. The the reborn reincarnation also works. And I mean, I have eight pages of those on Manga Owl that I'm currently reading. Literally eight pages. It's not... It's not a narrow field. No. If you like isekai, you will like this. Or you will at least appreciate it. And if you at least appreciate this, you will probably like other isekai. Yep. Time travel, though. Because that's, a, that's uh, something in this show. Uh, there's Steins Gate and Vivi's Fluorite song, I, oh, I saw, erased. which was written by the same person. Erased. Yeah. Uh, any other major time travel anime that you might like if you're coming out of this? I don't watch generally a whole ton. There's not that much time travel. No. Time travel is something that's very hard to do and even harder to do right. Yeah, because then you get stuff like Inuyasha. That's something I will praise the show on, is it is actually very good about handling its attention to detail between the loops. You Mm. might be interested in uh, Hanyo no Yashihime. If you... Mm. But then again, I would would say only go watch Hanyo no Yashihime if you either have a vague premise of what Inuyasha is about. Like, you should at least know the character names and the basic plot, or you've seen Inuyasha already. Because it is kind of a sequel series, even though it does stand alone a little bit. But it does deal with the whole kind of, like, shit's fucked up, time travel, you know. Uh, maybe, oh god, no, that show's terrible, never mind, that's like an actual bad show. Oh, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say Fushigi Yugi, but Fushigi Yugi is just actually fucking bad. Ah. Like, there, there's no getting around that. That show is just actually fucking bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Although, you know what, I probably, while I'm talking about isekais, I'll probably put, like, a, a rolling clip of, like, Just my... take the rolling clip from the previous isekai list. Run it through yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is where you put it, Seki Editor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll just make the same. I'll make an end credits and See, see? I like clip. that one there, the one that just went by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll highlight it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make a rolling list of, like, other isekai and reborn reincarnations that are pretty good to read or watch. Yeah. yeah. There's um, a lot. Um, recommendation for me, at least if you like a bit of um, darker shows, go go watch Berserk or read Berserk. That's an option. Valid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, oh, go, uh, maybe go watch Dororo. Hmm. Yeah. You might enjoy that. I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, this is a little bit on the darker spectrum. So if if you're a big fan of, like, more seinen kind of shows, you're going to find stuff that's a little bit on the darker sides, maybe going to float your boat more. Yeah. Like, this is obviously not a light-hearted no. isekai. You know, no, this yeah. is... It's got its moments. Yeah, but this is no Konosuba no. in terms of tone. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. We're a little closer to Overlord than Konosuba here. Actually, I think this passes Overlord. We're past Overlord, and actually I'd say we're also pretty far past Goblin Slayer, because Goblin Slayer doesn't necessarily have a dark tone outside of its dark gimmick. Yeah. It's actually pretty positive and upbeat. I'll say this between Overlord and this. Overlord technically has darker things going on in the background, but it doesn't often bring it to the foreground, whereas ReZero likes to uh, brutally maim its main character. Yeah. Mm, Yeah. It it likes to make... It's... 
So, oh, the difference between Overlord, that's the power fantasy. This is you are the noob and getting dis your ass destroyed by the forces that be. This is Dark Souls mode. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. You, you, the, you the died Soul. text appeared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty valid. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. I'm not gonna... Uh, I got something... For those who actually like to read, I recommend I Came Back, But the World is Still a Fantasy. There you go. All right. Realm, are you looking something up, or...? I'm, I'm looking at other anime for suggestions. I think we've covered a lot of suggestions yeah. here. I think we should good. be good. Okay. I think we're so good. why don't we go ahead and pull for next week's... Drum roll, please. Die roll that wheel. Vorn. Oh, Yay. Cool. Vorn will be choosing our... What will we be watching, Vorn? Mainland Fantasy. Moonlight Tsukimichi, everybody. Yes. Tsukimichi, season one. All right. We will see you next week. Try uh, harder than Saki. Like, comment, subscribe. Write a comment if you dislike Knickknack. Write a comment if you dislike Saki. Write a comment Look. if you dislike this whole Look, series. Look, you fucker.